4.6 billion years ago, our planet arose from the murky cosmic dust of the universe. And since the beginning, our planet has been teeming with biodiversity. Mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and birds living together in harmony as part of the great mystery we call life. But how did life originate? Scientists hypothesized that billions of years ago, macromolecules combined to form small organisms called protocells. Eventually, these ancestral organisms evolved into the complex multicellular creatures seen today. One creature that has been providing insight into the evolutionary process of land animals is the Eastern Newt. Millions of years ago, at this location, the lobed fin fish walked out of the water onto land and became what we now know as the common newt. And it is here at Thistle Mill Farms that we can see two distinct species of newts, allopatrically speciated, living in completely different, diverse populations. Let's go take a look. Now here at the second location, we see a very similar geographic outlook, but when we look at the newt, come here, we see very similar characteristics, but upon further inspection, as you see, these newts tend to have red spots along their back. And for that, we go to Dr. Sal Mander for more in the lab. Dr. Salmander, researcher at the University of California at Berkeley, has been studying these creatures for over 10 years. After collecting data from the two different newt populations, he has been able to sequence the genomes of both populations. After comparing the genomes, he and his team have been able to make some remarkable discoveries. So actually, we found many similarities in the genomes of both distinct species. This led us to believe that there was once a single population which thrived in the McClam Rock Badlands. Over time, however, the population of newts was slowly separated by decreasing sea levels and rising land masses into two inland lakes, Lake Thistle Mill and Lake Mill Thistle. To, our test, to test our hypothesis, my team and I brought a sample of newts from Lake Thistle Mill and put them into Lake Mill Thistle. After a few years of monitoring the population, we saw that the sample of newts we had inserted were not breeding with the other newt population and that their population had significantly, significantly dwindled. Upon further inspection, we discovered that the newts we inserted died because they were unable to locate potential mates due to their dark color in the muddy water. We took these results and compared them to our findings at Lake Mill Thistle. There we observed male newts with vibrant red spots and a healthy population overall in the pond. After much research, we were able to conclude that as the pond became muddier and darker, the male newts had to develop red spots in order for the mates to locate them. Oh yeah.